Let's hope not. Kenny Tetti with a good cross in towards Jimenez, who took it down nicely. Oh. Well, he got the shot on target on the half volley. Neil poking it through. It's turned back towards. Okay, he's hit the crossbar. Calvert yeah. Lewin is the offside. It's gone to VAR. Oh, it's gone to VAR, yeah. There's a lot of groaning going on around the uh, stadium. Four offside. And it has He's been ruled it. out. Yeah, well, say, Bernd Leno hasn't had a save to make, but so that one beat him. But here's Kenny Tete on a great run up towards the edge of the box, and he's still going. Wow, he felt he was being uh, jostled there in the end. But the hour mark was just passed. Still goalless here at Goodison. I think the game just needs a moment of brilliance, doesn't it? Someone to do something like what uh, he's yeah, doing oh, here. Emil Smith throwing us a lovely run. He was almost taken down, but he finds Alex Awobi, and there it is! It's 1-0, and it is Alex Awobi against his former club. Well, you called it, Jamie, and they provided it exactly what you were saying. We need to just see something a little bit special, a little moment of quality and class, and they combine perfectly, as they have done a few times already this season. Emil Smith-Rowe with a lovely Maisie run to get the ball midway into the uh, Everton half. Then managed to pick out Alex Awobi. And what a powerful and uh, purposeful run from him up towards the edge of the box. And then a really good finish with his right foot. And it is Alex Awobi. I had a funny feeling it might be him to get the goal for Fulham. And now Endai, who's come back towards this left hand touch line. He switched across to the right briefly, but he floats the ball into the box. It's belted back across. What a piece, the 95th minute.